What's up you guys? As promised, today we are talking about my layout. So, the cool thing is I cleaned out the bus and I taped the layout off so that I, get, I can kind of walk you guys through it and give you guys kind of a general idea of what exactly I have in mind. You'll also find out if I'm going to have a shower or not. Let's jump into it. All right, guys. So here is the front. Obviously, that's where you walk in. So when you walk in, the first thing you'll see over here is going to basically be counter space. Disregard this here. That does not need to go there. So this is all going to be counter space. My countertops are going to basically go up to about here. The lower half of all these windows I'll probably tint and maybe probably they'll wind up being black and then I will go in and add some reflectix in there as well just to add a little bit of insulation. But this will be counter free counter space. I'll have my refrigerator underneath and um, I'll have my sink in this area and then my I'm thinking I might actually go with like a full stove like an RV stove um, not a big huge stove but like a, a actual RV stove with the oven and the burners on top like three or four burners so let me step back here so you could see this line here this is where my bed will cut off and so all of this is going to be the kitchen area so like I said, I'll have my stove here-ish, my sink, and then the rest will be counter space. Underneath that, I will have my refrigerator somewhere and every other open space will be some type of storage. And so that being said, this back here is going to be my bed area and some other things, but we'll get to that after I explain the rest. So this side is going to be my bathroom area so um, I will have a full shower and a toilet so let me explain and I'll kind of give you guys that front visual and I'll walk you through it okay so if you see this blue mark here that's where the kitty litter box is going to go so I'll have the cat box there and I'll use the space behind the seat to just um, that's where I'll keep my actual litter and that's usually in some type of bucket and I'll keep my cat food and just some cat supplies there so above that, since that's only gonna go so high, that'll be a miscellaneous closet or pantry, whatever you wanna call it. It'll just be miscellaneous storage as of right now. And then over here, this whole section from the wheel well over to the tape, that is going to be my shower. So I'll have the shower pan that goes all the way and then I will have my nature head composting toilet that will also go in there as well. And so, I will actually probably be not using this window, but I will be keeping this window completely open. I think it'll be cool. Obviously I'll have, I'll add some curtains and make it private for when I am using the shower. And then above or next to that, I'll have this free space here. Not quite exactly sure what I'm gonna use that for, but again, it's more storage. I knew I was forgetting something, my solar. So, that being said, here where I wasn't really sure what to use this space for, I'm thinking I can use this to put all of my solar connections, my battery, stuff like that. So, that's a possibility. And then also, I also thought about put the litter box here, solar over there. I don't know. Hmm. Still up for debate. So feel free to let me know what you think. One thing I wanted to touch on that I didn't over here is underneath the sink is where I will be keeping my water jugs for the sink water. I won't be using like a huge water tank for the water in the sink. I probably won't use a whole, whole lot of that water, but I will have a large water tank for the shower. Now I'm gonna jump outside real quick and show you where I plan on putting the water tank. So we're outside the bus and right here is where I was just inside talking about where I'm gonna keep the shower. If we look underneath the bus here, I don't know how well you can see it, but this has really nothing here.
making it the perfect spot to put a water tank for my shower setup. So that pretty much covers the whole front side of the bus, except for one last thing. I have this blue spot here marked out, but what this is going to be is a piece of wood. I have a few different things in mind, but this is going to be a removable desk. So I'll have something here that I can either connect between the two sides or maybe get one of those, I forget what they're called, the, the flamingo or whatever they're called, um, swivel RV desk things. I can use that to break it down, but that will be removable. But when I have it on there, I'll have a desk set up and I'll always have a workspace if I don't want to be sitting on my bed. All right, so now let's get into the bed. So the bed will cut off here, as you guys can see, and then I've measured it and I'm thinking the bed will, the platform will go about this high, making the bed or the mattress, mattress itself will sit about right here, which will leave me plenty of room. It's an eight inch memory foam mattress. So I kind of had to work with that as far as deciding the height of the bed. So with that being said, the bed itself is 75 feet, 75 feet, 75 inches. So from this end to this end, it stops about right here on this one. So that's where I'll have the bed stop. And then I'll build some storage on top of the bed platform itself. And so I'll have a place to put some clothes there. And then also, as far as clothes go, I'm kind of gonna do like, uh, where is Brittany? She did in her bus where she had her closet underneath her bed. I, I originally wasn't planning on doing that, but the more I thought about it, I thought that's a great idea and I could put doors up so that it, all my clothes are out of the way, but I'll have plenty of storage and I could hang stuff if I really wanted to. So I'll have a closet on this side under the bed and I'm gonna have um, some kind of like barn doors-ish type of doors on there that will just slide so they won't be opening out. They'll slide either way. And then on the opposite side here, it'll be kind of basically the same as far as storage goes, but this is where I will be keeping my things like my paddle boards, my skateboards, um, just like outdoor activity type things. And then I also wanted to mention, as you guys know, I got my faux grass that is going to be the floor of my garage area. I wanted to leave the this middle part open. So this will this will be all left as grass, which is this. And then this uh, window will be at the bottom here so that the cats can kind of lay around and chill and they'll have a nice view and it can kind of feel like they're outside. But underneath that, I did want to mention, I will be putting down a moisture barrier um, memory, uh, like it, it's moisture barrier memory foam um, padding underneath the grass rub. And then I'm also going to be putting carpet in the front of the bus. And I'm also going to be putting that same barrier down in the front plus carpet. But that is essentially the entire floor plan that I have planned so please let me know what you guys think and if you have any ideas of maybe how just throw your ideas at me i'm always open to to new ideas but that's pretty much where i'm at and that's what i'm set on as far as the max fan i decided i'm going to put one right here which will be right above the bed i'm going to be putting that's where i'll install the max fan first and i'm actually going to be getting a second max fan the same one and I'm going to be putting it in the front where that hole was where I was contemplating putting it anyways. So I'm going to have two max fans and then that will leave me plenty of room on the roof for my solar panels. Right now I have two solar panels and I will be also purchasing two more solar panels. So I'll have a total of four solar panels on the roof and that means I'm not going to be putting a roof deck on the bus. but. I will have a deck on the bus. So I'm planning, I'm not sure exactly what size it's going to be, but I'm planning on putting a deck out here on the back of the bus that will actually fold up. So I'm, it's not gonna be huge, but it'll probably fold up to about here. 
And that is essentially going to be an extra way for me to lock and secure this back door. As, uh, as of right now, the locking system isn't necessarily like the most effective. It does work, but that will, um, I'll be able to put my deck up, lock it up, lock this door, and that just gives me a better sense of security as far as the back door goes. The front door, I think I'm gonna wind up putting a traditional door a more traditional door on here, but I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to that, but I definitely won't be keeping the um, original bus doors. Like I said, I don't make solid, solid plans on certain things at certain times. Right now, that's just the thought in my mind. That doesn't mean that I'm actually going to put a door on there. I may at some point in the future decide that I really do like the original bus doors and actually keep them. But right now I'm thinking that's not gonna be the case. But please feel free to comment down below and give me your ideas as far as the door goes. What do you think about the layout? What are your thoughts on my deck? I'm still kind of in the planning process as far as some of those things go, like the front door and the deck. But I'm pretty set on this layout. I would like to hear your thoughts and, what, and, and if you guys have any ideas as far as what I can add what I can add to what I've showed you. I, like I said, the storage in the kitchen area, I'm not set on anything in particular. I don't know that I will have drawers or am I gonna do shelves? Like I'm still planning those type of things. I don't know on the shower if I should um, build it from scratch, kind of like Bussy McBus Face. They did in their bus, they kind of, um, I liked the, I liked the system that they had that they built their shower. I'm not necessarily sure that I will find a shower pan the exact size that I need. So that's what I'm thinking is I might actually just do like build the shower up my own on my own. So please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments and your ideas. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you're excited to kind of see the ideas that I have in my head and my thoughts on where exactly I plan on going with this build. Um, things are finally starting to happen very quickly. Over the next few videos, you are going to see the walls completely finished and my bed platform in, and I'm even going to be semi moving into the bus at that point. And I'll also be doing an update video on the engine and whether or not the bus is running um, whenever I get back from my Texas trip in a couple weeks. So I know a lot of you have questions about that. So I just wanted to throw that out there as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, dislike, whatever, but don't forget to catch the next video and I'll see you then.